Hey, it's me, and this is a part two of customizing my claw machine. The goal is to completely customize a full-size claw machine. Yes, you heard it right. I'm nuts. If you didn't see part one, I would definitely recommend starting there. I'm honestly skeptical that I'm going to finish the claw machine in part two. I'm starting to wonder. What did I do in part one? I finished one of the side panels. There's still a whole other side panel, the whole front, the massive back panel, and there's still three of the top panels. I'm a human being. Give me a break. You be the judge. Am I gonna finish the entire claw machine in this video? I don't know. There was a lot of time in the prep work last week. So I'm thinking now that all of that is done and behind us, I'm gonna jump right into the painting and I should get further in this video than I did in the first video. So far, this has definitely been a little bit of a challenge. Um, It was a long week, but I am so excited to see this thing fully customized. So that is what's fueling me. Press on. I've got a lot to do, so let's get into the painting. All right, so this is where we landed last. Ignore the hairdryer laying dead on the floor. Traveling to the other side of the machine. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. I hate cords. I dream of a future where we can all live in a completely cordless society, never again becoming tangled, tripped, ripped. I believe we can find a solution. I mean, I know Bluetooth is a thing, but like connectivity issues are not fun either. Are we done yet? So I've already taken care of the prep work and the sketch for this panel thanks to my hard work last week. So I can just get right into it. So excited. Here we go. Touching the paint to the canvas or not the canvas, the machine. Oh, am I already hitting a snag? What's wrong? So it turns out I hated the lighting and camera angle. I spent an obnoxiously long time trying to fix it and landed here, which is essentially the same camera angle and lighting as it was before. So that was a great Great use of time, buddy. Can we maybe get started now? I'm starting with blocking in Dotsy. If you don't know Dotsy, she was born last week. I can't believe you missed it. Also bringing in Zuzu. They're aliens, okay? So we gotta have like quirky names. Oh, oh, but then there's Tom. So last week I created six original alien characters. I call them the bean body aliens. I painted three of them on the panel that I did last week. And on this one, I'm doing the remaining three. And of course, I'm beginning this painting just by blocking in all of my colors, just getting the paint on the canvas. Oh, not the canvas. Why do I keep wanting to call this a canvas? I don't even paint canvas. When was the last time I painted a canvas? Anyway, I'm just trying to get this whole area painted and rough in my image like so, so that with the second layer, I can start refining and tweaking everything a little bit more. I've got Tom down here and he's in front of this planet um, that, yeah, that's a planet. Is it Nophilophagus? We do know that Nophilophagus is a very colorful place, so it probably wouldn't be so orange. Oh, what's Nophilophagus? That's where the alien bean bodies live. That's where they're from. Are you still confused? Yes. I may try to actually paint Nophilophagus on a different panel of the machine. This is just going to be like a neighboring planet. They're just hanging out here for the day. Space travel, it's pretty common for the bean bodies. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Second coat, done. And coming in with the galaxy for the background, super easy. It's just a whip and a do 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 do. And this is where things got real rough last time. The outlining. I will say it was a little bit easier this time. Don't get me wrong, I still struggled. So I struggled, but I did get somewhat used to the extremely uncomfortable position that I was forced to paint in. Also, my accuracy very slightly improved after getting some practice. I'm painting in some detail on this planet. You know, it kind of looks like the sun. Is it the sun? Are the space bean bodies extraordinarily heat resistant? That's possible. We do know that it snows in parts of Nophilophagus, so maybe they wanted to take a nice warm vacation and hang out on the sun and their bodies are built to handle the heat, okay? This is not supposed to foreshadow their fiery death. This is a nice, friendly scene to a friendly, warm location that may or may not be a sun. Oh my gosh, I'm literally painting and blow drying the paint at, at the, the same, same time. time. Normally, I'm able to switch back and forth between painting projects. While one is drying, I can just work on the other one. But for this, I had my camera kind of like set up and occupied in this specific spot. So I was really focused 
focusing solely on this and I haven't been aware of how long it takes paint to dry in a long time. It takes forever. It's truly painful. And then I feel like something's missing here. Let's reference the sketch. Oh, Zuzu's tail. What the heck? How on earth? No, 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 no. How on Nophilophagus could I forget that? Someone lock this woman up. So no big deal, I'm just adding the tail in. Also, I did notice Zuzu's little tummy patch. Originally, when I sketched this, I thought that it would have been completely covered by Tom's head. Looking at the placement now, I think you actually probably would be able to at least partially see that little tummy patch. I never ended up painting it in. Sorry, Zuzu. Hello, I'm interrupting here. Did you like that little transition? I don't know, it was different, I tried it. I have a huge new launch of merchandise. Boom! Back to school type items, plus lots of different accessories. The new backpack designs, oh my gosh. I went dessert themed. We've got this one, which has got pickle, Georgie, and derp in donuts. Sprinkles. And then this one is a little bit more neutral colors. We've got pickle, Georgie, baby Leon in there. Continuing on the bag train, we have this Shelly and Eustace laptop sleeve and Winnie and Wilfred lunchbox. This is the first First official Winnie and Wilfred product. I have some notebooks, Grumpy Cherry Berry, Sprinkle Panda, Pickle. This is like a little cosmetics travel set. Comes with a mini brush and a little travel size mirror. Adorable. I also have Fred AirPod silicone cases, a couple of these cord bites, a pickle luggage tag, the little pickle spots on the back, a chicken family lanyard. Finally, this year's stationary set. It comes comes with a set of rainbow pencils and a little rainbow mini sharpener, some erasers, post-its, stickers, bookmarks, this adorable little notebook. I'll say it again, cute and adorable. None of these items are pre-ordered. So if you do order them, you will get them rather quickly. Because it's not pre-order, these are limited quantities. Thank you so much for listening to this little announcement. And let's get back to the regular video. I don't know what this means. Tom is looking good though oh my gosh Tom may be my favorite I know a lot of you really loved boobs from last week why boobs is the worst somebody pointed out last week that Tom kind of looks like a dragon fruit <gasps> oh my gosh yes that's it that's it he totally does and I'm loving it Tom is truly amazing don't talk about Tom nobody say a word about Tom unless it's nice then go ahead so these two are about done notice Tom's expression he seems a little taken aback I mean, he always kind of looks like that. But today there is a legitimate reason for his distress. And it's about Dotsie, okay? Because she is out here being a little extra. The three of them, Tom, Zuzu, Dotsie, are out on this little excursion to the neighboring sun. And Dotsie sees a shooting star and decides to just go ahead and jump on, take a ride. So she's currently being hurled through the galaxy to Lord knows where. And this is just so typical. This is the kind of thing that Dotsie Dotsie does. She's always finding some sort of trouble. She's a little bit hyper. She sees something shiny and boom, next thing you know, she's hurled through space and Tom is just like, oh no, how are we going to get her back to Nophilophagus? And Zuzu's like, <coughs> Zuzu's a baby. So not really grasping the gravity of the situation oh, or the lack of gravity. <laughs> oh, and just like that, this panel is finished. Wow, that was actually really fast compared to the first one. Am, Am I, I getting, getting better at this? I think I'm developing a skill for painting aliens on claw machines. Go ahead and put that on my resume. I'm gonna just peel off all the tape and apply a nice thick clear coat to protect my painting and this panel is officially done. It's still in the exact same style as the first panel, but I mean I like that this one has a little bit more of a story to it. It is a very simple story. I'm not gonna win any Academy Awards but I like that there is a little bit more to it. Although I don't want to put the first panel down. It was good. I suffered for it. So it has to be good. Moving right along or crawling right along. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't know why I decided to try to stick my head in there. Where are you going? Please, Please stop. stop. I think I'm looking for a napping place. Hey, uh, ow. come back here. Get back here and paint. After I stop trying to find ways to go to sleep, I'm going to get started. I'm actually being a little bit dramatic here. Okay. Because this part is not going to be that hard. Also, if you're wondering about my 
outfit and why it hasn't changed this entire time even though I've been painting for multiple days. Whenever I do a large scale painting project, I always wear the same outfit start to finish. I just like wash them at the end of the day, mostly because I know that I'm almost certainly going to trash whatever I'm wearing. It's pretty much just unavoidable because there's just so much paint going everywhere. Side note, these short sleeve jackets are my new thing. I like them because you get a little more warmth than a t-shirt, but you don't have to deal with the long sleeves while painting. I just have this one and like all the color options, but they're actually really hard to find. I guess these are not in style. <laughs> But I really like them, okay? So let me know if you ever find a good short sleeve jacket as I awkwardly shuffle by. Hey. You can see that I'm laying down just a solid blue over the whole front of the machine. Another note, this random box in here is just there to hold up the prize door so that I don't get paint all over it. And sorry about the butt shot. I didn't realize that was in your face. Once the first coat completely dried, I went back over everything with a second coat to get a nice opaque color. And then it's time to add the galaxy. And I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a little tired of painting galaxies at this point. It's just very repetitive. I did decide to just keep it as a plain galaxy because one, there are a lot of pieces and panels all over the front of this and it was kind of tricky to figure out how to fit anything else in this space. <laughs> space. But also there are two other customizable areas on the front of the machine. I want to bring a decent amount of detail into those so I'm thinking I want to keep this part of it slightly more simplistic and just like that the front is now complete. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Oh boy, caught in the reflection. <laughs> I had a little guest with me as I was filming this. I think this is just enough detail to make it interesting, but not enough where it's going to start to detract from my evil plans for the future. So I finished the side panel and the front of the machine in this video, and I'm loving how these are looking together. Everything is starting to look really cool, becoming a more cohesive thing. But of course, I have only touched the bottom half of the machine. So I still have the whole top half to finish. So this is actually going to be a three part series because I'm gonna need another week to finish this project. I promise you I will finish this machine next week. So please come back to see the final product. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this. This has been a huge time commitment and definitely a big challenge. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me and being patient, waiting for the final reveal. I'll see you next week. Bye.